yeah so good evening everyone welcome to durga soft online sessions welcome to durga soft online sessions okay so welcome to data structures and algorithms okay so our course is nothing but what data structures data structures and algorithms data structures and algorithms with java with java okay so in short form it is called as dsa so it is called as what dsa with java with java dsa with java this is nothing but what is our course so myself trainer k prakash babu having almost 15 plus years of experience as a trainer okay i trained um in various engineering colleges okay for the placement purpose and even from our durga soft i am working in durga soft for the past three and a half years okay yeah that's all about myself no need to go in detail and coming to this course first let me give the complete uh, batch details the course is nothing but data structures and algorithms dsa with java and the code for this batch is dsa j okay batch 8 okay so we finished all the six batch i mean seven batches of course seventh batch is going on but we started a new batch dsa with java this is the eighth batch which i am handling and you know the fees for this batch already in the demo link itself we have given very clearly okay the fees for this batch is nothing but do you know 1500 1500 rupees 1500 is nothing but the fees for this batch and coming to the duration coming to the duration of this course is exactly two months exactly two months cost in the month of november ending maximum so november and december sir is my voice is clear can you please confirm any disturbance is coming sir is my voice is clear please confirm yes sir it is going low some breaking one second one second better i will change the network one second guys sir, please wait yeah right can you please confirm now is it clear yes please audible sir good so the duration of this batch is around two months around two months we are going to spend november and december maximum at the end of the december i am going to complete the syllabus and the timings of this batch sir please be on mute at the end i will give time for you to ask questions okay please wait the timings of this batch is 9 pm to 10 pm okay every day at sharp 9 pm we are going to start 9 to 10 pm class will be there monday to saturday monday to saturday so every day except on sundays in the remaining days 9 pm to 10 pm we are going to have these classes so next and after that sir uh, what about the registrations to whom we need to contact if you have any queries you can drop a mail to 
durgasoft online online training at gmail.com they will provide support in this or else you can contact 720-721-2427 this is one number or you can contact 9246-2420 you can contact to any one of these numbers or through this mail id so with the help of this what benefits you are going to get so with the help of this course what benefits you are going to get very simple uh, you are going to get running notes clearly i am going to get uh, type each and everything like if you want you can see my previous batch classes so like that i am going to type each and everything some programs will be uh, copy pasted and even along with output i am going to copy paste you can able to see every program algorithm you can see linked list like each and everything in detail we are going to type that running notes in the txt format it will be there even i am giving the file name dsa with java batch 8 notes dot txt like that you are going to get running notes with lifetime validity and even the images images see this data structure means understanding itself is very difficult because sometimes we need to draw some diagrams for example if i want to represent a tree a tree data structure like this we have to take in this style okay so these kind of majority of the times we will work on the images like if you take linked list it will be there like this okay and even if i am explaining uh, something like uh, shifting of array or rotating the array like you can see for example 7 8 so 9 1 2 if if we have elements like this i want to move this 7 to the ending and i want to bring uh, i i want to uh, rotate this array then your output your output will become uh, something like 8 9 okay 1 2 7 like that we have to do sir these kind of things definitely the students are going to understand very clearly if i explain with the help of images with my handwritten sometimes by using the tools i am going to draw everything whatever images i am explaining with a proper title i am going to give a folder so in that all the images will be there sometimes in pdf format sometimes in png or jpg something like that next so in this course whatever i am trying to explain you people are going to get this recorded recorded video also you are going to get okay means what for example if i am taking any concept today so today our first class right demo class i am taking so from starting from today so till the completion of course how many sessions i am taking every session is going to be recorded right so that recorded folder our team are going to share as it is for you people okay but you don't have any limitation for these running notes and images but these recorded videos are having six months access so from the date of your registration for example if you are going to register for this course by paying 1500 today from today exactly six months you are going to get after six months automatically that drive is going to be deleted this is nothing but what we have means additionally some two more four more months extra we are going to provide so next and after that even sir we are going to give some interview question interview interview questions we are going to provide so maybe i am going to give this in the form of a pdf so maybe if time permits i will give explanations and i will provide that video also for you people every interview question in the data structure i am planning okay so almost it is ready made available for almost 100 questions so that i am trying to convert it into a video so where all these questions are going to be explained that the questions format as it is i am going to send even we will have a discussion on that because these are very very important 
next and after that very very important for this batch i am adding this sir we are going to see some coding challenges coding challenges also maybe i am expecting for this batch minimum at least 10 questions i am going to plan not simple programs top level programs for example if you take a linked list on the basis of linked list to one or two programs okay which are asked in the interview on the three minimum three to four programs okay next and after that backtracking like we are going to select some random uh, maybe from the hacker earth from the hacker rank from the lead code i'm going to select some coding challenges minimum some 10 coding challenges which is connected with these data structures we will solve so that you can able to practice you can able to practice well okay this is nothing but what we have sir next and after that okay next and after that uh, yeah that's that's all that's all almost uh, everything i covered these are nothing but the details of our batch but uh, don't worry about the syllabus i will give what is the syllabus that we are going to cover okay so dsa with java okay with java so list of okay i can say syllabus syllabus but just i am giving only the titles of the chapters because uh, whenever okay so whenever we are going for tomorrow's class tomorrow for every topic in depth what are the internal concepts that we are going to cover that pdf document i will show you tomorrow but today just i want to give the titles how many chapters are there what internal concepts are going to be there in that that we will discuss tomorrow okay don't worry i will give the titles of the chapters what we are going to cover so this is nothing but about the course what we are going to plan <clears throat> in this two months duration we are going to finish this pakka every day one hour class will be there monday to saturday okay so maybe this month i am almost uh, in the ending we are going to start that's why if time permits we will close by uh, december 31st else maybe uh, uh, up to january festival time you can take okay that's all beyond that nothing how many hours will be there this course sir almost 50 to 60 hours will be there okay minimum 50 maximum 60 hours will be there sometimes we are going to spend one hour one and a half hour so all that will be counted okay yeah so this is nothing but what is the information about this course okay sir if you are having any queries at a top level except don't ask the questions in the syllabus syllabus i didn't explain it till now just at a top level if you are having any queries you can feel free to ask after discussion of the queries i will go to the explanation of syllabus yes now any doubts If no doubts means just ping a message in the chat window so that I will continue. No more queries. Please confirm. Mm, yeah, yeah, it will be covered. It will be covered within two months. Mm, yes, internal, internal topics will be covered. Don't worry, I will explain what topics we are going to cover. I will explain. Lead code questions, not all lead code questions because it is not a programming related thing. I am trying to explain the concept. Okay, that's why we are not going to see the in detail about the problems. Okay, that's why just I told, right? We are going to solve maybe 10, 10 coding questions I want to select randomly and i will explain okay sir next and after that coming to the syllabus because you are waiting for this one no no farooq uh, you are understand you are not understanding my content see here theoretical part is there okay theoretical part is there so plus coding coding part is there if you are having clear cut idea about the theoretical part then only you can move to the coding part okay this course is to explain the theoretical part 
so for example if i am taking a linked list what is mean by linked list where we can use this linked list what is the advantage what are the applications that part alone we can able to discuss on linked itself linked list itself you can expect 100 plus programs that are going to be asked in the interview if you are very good at linked list solving these problems is not a easy task okay but focusing on only single topic by taking the complete programming approach is very difficult for trainers it is very hard to explain okay but once if the topic got completed you can practice if you are getting any questions just we can able to solve okay got it uh, december no that's what i am telling um, uh, i have my own action plan is there uh, rashmi because so i am i am taking from 9 pm to so 10 pm okay so sometimes yeah, we are yeah. going to yeah, sir yeah. please sir yeah. please be on mute please be on mute i request everyone to please be on mute so 9 pm to 10 pm okay so almost it will be extended up to 10 15 sometimes if the topic demand sometimes we are going to spend some weekend classes okay so i have my action plan is there that's what i am telling we will finish okay no worries that but all the topics will be covered in that right uh next sir let me see, let me discuss about the syllabus there you will get much clarity so the topics which we are going to cover on this is nothing but sir first first you know very well we are going to give introduction okay so introduction to data structures and um, we are going to give introduction to introduction to algorithms algorithms maybe first i am going to talk about introduction to algorithms later i will go with introduction to data structures means what sir what is mean by data structure where we are using data structure so what is mean by uh, algorithm in the real time where we are using this algorithm definitely there are real time examples also there right for example if the problem statement is very big okay if the problem statement is very big you can't able to solve that problem directly without help of without help of algorithm or sometimes if i am explaining the concept for the students some students are unable to understand in such a cases i am going to take like this paint brush tool and i will explain the diagram do you know this is a kind of representation so algorithms sometimes if the problem statement is very big we can go for flow chart like what is mean by algorithm how it will be used in the programming okay what are the different types of algorithms are there if i want if i am getting any new problem in the real world how you can able to think about the solution and a suitable algorithm you have to find out okay how you can able to solve that part we are going to discuss there and introduction to data structures sir day by day in every scen in scenario even knowingly or unknowingly in every day we are going to use these kind of data structures okay for example today so i booked a ticket so that uh, ticket reservation system is going to follow some standard data structure okay so i entered into bus so there is a, some some kind of data structure which we are going to follow like everywhere in the real time also everywhere we are using the data structures okay so i am going to give introduction where we are using what is mean by that data structure not in depth at the top level just to understand the terminologies we are going to see next and after that so here before moving to the actual content of the data structures we are going to discuss about some sample programs because i am going to take this dsa by using which programming language java right that's why so to brush up that your java skills okay we are going to discuss some sample algorithms sample algorithms and implementations of those algorithms like prime number application even number or odd number application maximum of numbers tribonoki sequence fibonacci sequence like different different zoner programs i am going to combine and we will see how to develop an algorithm for that 
and how you can able to solve that problem by using some java tools how we are going to solve that problem so that you are going to get two things one is nothing but so whatever java knowledge you have you are going to refresh those skills and second thing once how you are going to solve the problem in the future we are going to get the clarity for that how to create a class how to create a method how to run all these things i am going to explain in this sample algorithms and implementations sir after that so see for example if you take any problem if you are trying to solve that problem you will get multiple solutions best example for this sample algorithms and implementations i am going to take one program okay i am going to take one program okay so where i am going to explain almost five different logics are there so if i want to interchange or if i want to swap two numbers we have almost five logics will be there in that okay i am going to explain all these logics in detail but among these logics only one logic is efficient right of course everything is correct only but one logic is going to get more flexibility so time wise okay complexity wise space wise so one algorithm is going to take less time less space like that how to decide that one so for that we have to go for analysis of algorithms okay so analysis analysis of algorithms or i can say so complexity complexities complexity calculation how you are going to do the calculation part we have time complexity is there we have space complexity is there how we are going to calculate those things we will discuss in detail so this is main important topics sir first first we are going to focus on this after that we have some inbuilt data structures are there like if you take we have array data structure is there so what is mean by array in the real time where we can use array what is a problem with arrays then we have one dimensional array related programs are there that i am going to discuss so two dimensional two dimensional array programs are there so that part also we are going to discuss two dimensional array programs mean something like matrices and even three dimensional array program of course not programs i am going to take single program and how it is going to be useful i am going to explain and even we are going to talk about array rotations just now in the examples i told right suppose if you have an array you can rotate that array means what so you can move the elements from beginning to ending or from ending to beginning we have left rotation right rotation like that we have but don't worry we will see what are the different types of algorithms are there to perform this rotation operation okay so next and after that there are some basic crud operations the problem with java arrays is nothing but once if you create an array it is fixed that's all you can't able to add a new element into that array you can't able to remove the elements from the array but for that we are going to discuss some crud operations means what how to create an array okay next and after that how to read the element okay how to update the elements how to delete all these operations we are going to see in detail in the arrays next and after that in java util package there is one predefined class is there with name arrays so it is providing some predefined support for this arrays sir so what methods are there what inbuilt methods are there how they are providing support with the help of example each and every terminology we are going to discuss there okay so next and after that so parallelly there is one string data structure is also there inbuilt data structure so as a part of this we are going to see the programs on string data structure so these are nothing but what are the predefined data structures that we have i think maximum you have seen these kind of things in your uh, java 
course itself of course the people who know very well about java so you know all these uh, terminologies that's why we are going to spend less time on these but each and every topic pin to pin with the help of programming we are going to learn okay next and after that next chapter we are going to slowly enter into data structures recursion what is mean by recursion and uh, we have applications are there on the recursion okay we have majority of the applications are there like if you solve the if you solve any problem by using recursion so time wise it is going to take some time but there are some problems which can't be solved in the real time example towers of an eye okay sir if you take our uh, uh, mobile phone keypad mobile phone in the old mobile phone if you take so you will be having the keys like this zero and you will be having a key called one so here some alphabets is there like a b c and if you take two so d e f will be there sir do you know if i press one two what combinations it is going to print sir a d a e so a f what is another combination sir b d so b e so b f what is another combination c d so c e c f like this uh, sir three plus three six plus three almost nine combinations nine letters nine words we can type if you press one and two if you press one and two and three then multiple words you are going to get so do you know it is nothing but very difficult right because what key you entered you have to capture with that what combinations will be there so once if the number of keys got increased more number of combinations you are going to get such a type of problems you can't solve directly for this we have to take the help of which applications recursion we are going to see that problem also okay what is mean by recursion how to solve that recursion based programs around 20 to 25 applications we are going to solve on that based on this we have backtracking is there uh, sudoku problem n queens problem okay we are going to solve those problems in the live environment we will type each and every program and we will execute and we are going to see how it is going to work next and after that sir even we have different kind of sorting algorithms are there of course inbuilt sorting techniques are already there in the collection framework in addition to that so you can implement a bubble sort you can implement a quick sort you can implement radix sort okay like different types of sorting algorithms are there bubble sort selection sort insertion sort all these things we are going to cover sir next and after that even searching algorithms also there but before that divide and conquer based algorithms we are going to see then searching searching algorithms are there linear search is there binary search is there that part we are going to discuss next and after that dynamic programming dp related problems so greedy greedy algorithms how you can able to implement greedy approach okay these things we are going to see next and after that bit manipulations so means uh, if you want to work with any binary numbers how you are going to do de- uh, because these bitwise operators are going to play an important role right so whenever you are performing any computation in your program so first of all internally it has to be converted into binary numbers only but if you have any operator which directly deals with the binary number definitely its efficiency is going to be improved that's why we have bit manipulations concept is there there by using uh, some special operators how you are going to work with the binary digits we are going to see okay so after this we are going to talk about linked linked list data structure so huge time we are going to spend on this minimum so 6 hours we are going to discuss on this linked list okay almost a big big programs you are going to get around 200 lines 300 lines code but step by step by simplifying that i am going to explain in detail we have single linked list is there <clears throat> double linked list is there circular single linked list is there circular double linked list is there so how it is going to work in detail we will see so after that we have stack data structure is there next and after that queue queue data structure is there okay how to implement a stack how to implement a queue what are the applications 
okay all these things we are going to see so hash table hash table data structure so hashing means what how you are going to use that hashing next and after that tree data structure we are going to see next graph data structure on this tree and graph again some three hours three hours we are going to spend next and after that so priority priority queue means what how you can work with this priority queue okay so next and after that uh, yeah that's all these are nothing but the topics but again i'm i'm giving one important note for you so this linked list okay linked list next and after that uh, tree data structure okay tree data structure so next and after that uh, graph data structure and even at the very beginning string data structure so these four topics these four topics we have to complete only on weekends the reason for that is these are somewhat easy and uh, you can able to develop the code very simply if you miss the continuity you people can't uh, recall this that's why we are going to plan maybe one or two weekends to complete this okay these topics will be completed in a special class that beginning itself i am giving special class in the sense saturday and sunday only anyway already saturday class will be there maybe half an hour will be extended and sunday maybe two hours or two and a half hours like that okay but not every sunday in our entire course maybe two times you can able to expect this is nothing but the syllabus what we are going to cover in this data structures and algorithms okay in detail in depth one by one we are going to cover so now if you are having any queries on the syllabus you can feel free to ask then i will conclude any doubts yes any doubts please confirm Yes, no response from your side. I request everyone to please confirm. Clear up to this. Yeah, clear. Yes, sir, clear. <laughs> right. How long the course content will be, sir? Oh, that's already I have given, right? so we have the duration of the course as a two months from the date of today exactly two months we are going to close maximum by december ending i will wind up else january first week okay and the recorded videos for this session will be available with you up to six months from the date of your registration rest of the things are lifetime validity okay okay any prerequisite sir compulsory you must have a java idea if you don't know about java it is very difficult for you to understand okay so better if you are having a time okay and if you are having interest my new batches are there okay if you want you can refer logic based programming to improve your coding skills okay we have another batch is there so it is at evening 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 6 pm just you can okay you can refer you can make a call to our admin team and you can ask the details they will share so next and after that uh, uh, we have python batch is there new batch tomorrow at morning 7 am we are going to start even java batch is there tomorrow at morning 8 am i am going to start so if you have a java knowledge then only this course will be suitable otherwise it is very difficult okay Sir, someone is asking heap data structure, set data structure, that heap will be covered in this priority queue. Okay, priority queues, the another name for this priority queue is nothing but heap, heap, okay. So heap means max heap, min heap will be there, right. Maximum element will be extracted first, minimum element that will comes under this priority queue itself, okay. So set data structure is internally there in the collection framework. But here we don't have any set data structure. If we want, we can implement. Okay. Yes. Uh, sir, what should be our role to get perfect in this course? Um, sir, very simple. Uh, the simple terminology. 
the people who are looking for the placements especially i can say the persons who are in present final year present final year students are pre final year pre final year students sir don't see alternative directly you can pay the fee and get registered definitely it will be useful for you people why i am selling this word is so for the final year students and the pre final year students they are ready to get the job so they have already some knowledge in java or python something like that see keeping uh, these kind of languages in the resume is very common because in your class if 60 members are there every person is going to keep the word called java python like that but if you attend these sessions so you can keep the word called dsa with java like this i know data structures and algorithms with java if you if you make it as a bold okay provided if you are having a good content if you follow all my classes regularly and if you are able to solve the problems then happily you can able to at least 50% if you understand you can able to keep this word then immediately what will happen your name will be highlighted in the interview and if they are asking any questions on dsa at least even if you are not able to implement you can try to explain the logics because these are going to be useful in the companies whenever you are writing the code whenever you are developing the projects these terminologies will be useful okay along with programming language sir i am not saying programming language is not important programming language is also important in addition to that these are the real time tools which we are going to use so if you don't know this if you have a programming knowledge just you will be entered but you will be having special priority if you know this particular course that's why it is my um, recommendation for every final year and pre final year students then sir i am already working person then how it will be useful so the people who are already in job it role definitely sir i think even i don't want to explain about anything because already you are experienced person so you know very well we are using these terms in the real time projects right so but how it is working some people are going to get the help support from others or some people are going to copy paste the code from the google okay you are going to face some situations not all but maximum so to get in depth knowledge you can able to learn this course so i think the fees is also very less it is a matter of two movie tickets that's all okay so this is nothing but my sincere uh, suggestion for everyone so better to register and uh, get uh, go through the videos when you have a time or if you have uh, you can attend the live classes okay anything choice is yours but the prerequisite for this course is nothing but compulsory you should have a idea about java why because see if i am telling hash table i am going to write code for that hash table you can see this is my previous batch programs so void insert that location i am going to give one index value and data value we have to insert this data in this location so how to write the code all primary test cases not only this one let me go for another data structure yeah this is bitwise bitwise related operators so you can see um here i developed even number or odd number application by using bitwise operators and i implemented swapping of two numbers by using bitwise operators number is a power of 2 or not because these increment a number by one unit because these operators are going to improve the performance lower case to upper case conversion like that okay and even you can see so dynamic programming have you observed uh, i want to oh, dynamic programming better i will go with uh, this n queens problem you will get more clarity <clears throat> you can see backtracking it is a kind of approach okay uh, we are going to see the n queens puzzle so how it will be solved okay so like this we have a chess board all these things in the demo classes itself i will explain then how to solve the sudoku puzzle okay suppose if i am giving a sudoku like this it is going to give the solution for that sudoku okay and i told the keyword combinations right 
suppose if i am entering the characters like uh, if i am pressing the digits like 43556 what combinations words you are going to get okay what combination words you are going to get somewhere uh, hello also will be there h e l l o is it there yes it is a one combination like that we are going to have multiple combinations okay uh, like you can see uh, we have stack data structure is there so i want to sort the student objects uh, in the descending order based on name i am going to utilize the concept of stack okay how it will be like in depth in depth each and every terminology binary search implementation linear search implementation so how to implement the stack i am going to write code for each and everything and i will explain after that you can able to implement how to implement the stack by using arrays how to implement by using linked list we have predefined libraries also there by using that how you can implement like step by step i am going to explain okay so even balancing the parentheses uh, expression conversion with the help of algorithms i am going to explain so next and after that uh, we are going to see the queue like you can see everything i am going to type manually and i am going to explain code for you people okay so but uh, where i uh, where i kept that word so prerequisite for this course is nothing but compulsory you should have a knowledge in java because you can see maximum you are seeing the programs means what if there is a theory concept is there so what is the proof for that or how you can able to check whether it is working properly or not for that programming language support must be required whether it may be c or java or python anything you can choose but the concept is the same but in this course whatever concepts i am explaining i will implement parallelly by using which programming language java so that you will get clarity okay sir any doubts up to this any doubts no right so with this i am going to stop today's session sir tomorrow same link you have to use to attend the class and tomorrow maybe i am going to explain this syllabus in detail and any one of the algorithm i will take for example uh, this uh, backtracking is there right or in the linked list maybe one or two applications i will try to explain okay but anyway in detail we will see in the regular class but at a top level so how my explanation will be there how i am going to execute the programs so is my teaching is you can able to understand or not is the concepts are clearly explained or not these things you can able to check okay right tomorrow as usual at 9 o'clock we have a session continuation for this will be there okay right sir thank you see you tomorrow good night good night sir good night sir right the people who are interested to continue just you can pay the fee and get registered okay